Hey guys, Revitalized Reggie Giggs here. Welcome back to some more Pokemon Are Born. We're joined by Josh Rett. Yeah, hey, how's it going? It's going pretty good. We're back in the Chrysolia Deep Woods because uh, I wanted to see if I could find Kartana here. I had the idea that maybe the Ultra Beasts are just in these like new post-game areas. Thought I was cooking, but I've been looking here for a while and I've not seen any Ultra Beasts, so it's probably about time to give up. <laughs> I've noticed a couple other interesting things about this area. There's like... Oh! The screen flashed there for a second. I've noticed there's like these two areas. Uh, oh, this isn't one of them. There's two areas where there's like a, a cliffside. Here. Like right here. Like this implies to me yeah. that I can get up there. Right. But I don't think you can. I think they just did this for like aesthetics. Like this is like not hmm. an area you can get to. Interesting. Or maybe there's an area that connects to there. So I consider that as well, but there's also one like off to the, the secret left. Secret passage. Maybe it is a secret passage, I don't know, but I don't know. I've I've looked around this area quite a bit. And there's definitely no way to get there like from here. Yeah, so here's the other one. Huh. That is really interesting. Yeah. Like, if there were a hidden item up there, that'd be, like, a great indication that you can actually get up there. But I don't know if you can. Anyway, I think we're, we're good to leave here. Let's blow this joint. So I guess today we'll be doing either the genies or we'll be doing the reindeer. Yeah. The, the Swords of Justice, you mean? The Reindeer of Justice. <laughs> did you hear that? I did. <laughs> were, were, were those the reindeer? Those were the reindeers. They were, like, knocking on my door. For some reason, my downstairs neighbors, they just do that sometimes, and I don't know what it is. Weird. It is very weird. All right, well, of course, we got to check for Blue Moon ice cream. Of course. It's not there. Well, that's a shame. Maybe next time. One day. So I I was thinking about it, and I realized this Smeargle being the secretary, like, I think Smeargle might come hang out here. Or something. Does not seem like it. Smeargle's not here. I wonder if we can go find him at the Reborn Center. My thought process is that uh, Victoria was complaining that there was too much paperwork to do. So maybe Smeargle is the secretary now. Human! Smeargle bought out Blue Moon ice cream! No more! <laughs> <laughs> Last cone! It's like, God damn it! We're sending you back to the weird temple with all the drawings on it. <laughs> Okay, well, I don't see Smeargle here. We'll we'll throw it up on one of those cliffs. Yeah, <laughs> it's like nobody can access you now. <laughs> I say we tackle the Swords of Justice. Okay. So Swords of Justice, just as a reminder, mission refresher. There's reports coming in from Route Four. Oh wait, uh, that's the other one. Some folks from the circus saw a Cobalion running around on Route 3. Sounds like the poor thing got spooked and ran away, so there's probably a door nearby for it to run to. So it's Route 3, right? Okay. So the, is, I wonder if it's just Cobalion, or if it's going to be all of them. Yeah, I I don't know. It might just be Cobalion, and then we then get a cue for the next one. Oh, I found some shiny Pokemon while I was looking for a... Uh... Cartana. Oh, uh, I was here for Exeggutor. Yeah, but you were not here for Monokuma. <laughs> <laughs> boop, 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 boop. I, I had to make sure I caught this one because I had a feeling you would recognize it. <laughs> Ooh, I really like two cannons. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, that's sick. I like the purples on its beak. I don't know two cannon got sheer force. I love that we have a bisexual two cannon. So true. Uh, who do we want to bring for Cobalion? I wonder. Regi guy. Regi guy is not trained yet, so he's gonna go in there. Also, Articuno doesn't belong here. 
Cobalion is fighting steel, right? I, okay, I'll be completely honest with you. The Swords of Justice are some of the legendaries I'm least familiar with. Let's see. If, so, I Cobalion is fighting steel. I think he uses physical attacks mostly. I think we should keep Blackbird for ground. Mm -hmm. Keep Seal for Psychic and Fairy. I'm very familiar with Verizion, but other than that... From Gates to Infinity? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I like Trixie with Intimidate here. I think that'll be good for us. I'm, I'm with that. Uh, ooh, we need Zapdos for Fly. Zapdos needs to stay. Do we need... Okay. Metagross is obviously very good, but... Yeah. Okay, now Josh Red. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, that one... I don't even know what you're trying there. Otherwise, this is the team right here. Okay. We'll just run with that team, I guess. Listen, if we're going up against the Swords of Justice, we have to fight fire with fire. We need our own Sword of Justice. <laughs> That's what Krikatoon is. Yeah. Okay, well, here I am on Route 3. Or you know what? You know what? Maybe maybe if we're fighting a sword, we need range and distance and archery, and that's why we're bringing a bow. A bow to the sword fight. Does Dido have a bow? No, because like the... like a violin with the, the oh, bow. Oh, <laughs> got it. I'm not sure where to Damn. look for this. The people in the comments will appreciate my, my artistry. I'm sure someone will. Okay, well, found one. <laughs> <laughs> this was a, a lot simpler. Th oh, oh, it's the ringmaster. I ring okay. Master. I remember when we first <laughs> encountered this character. I was like, oh, they're gonna be important. <laughs> Literally, this is the first dialogue they've had since like that part of the game in the circus. Sean, they don't have a name. <laughs> Yeah, that is actually a good point. You want to do her voice? Wait, come back. Ugh. This place is Cobaldi encoded, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Blue. I wonder if it's like all of them together. Because we got like three paths here. Mm hmm. This looks like a Tarakian zone. Okay, fuck. Oh, or not. Finally. Now listen here, you... Whatever you are. You caused quite a ruckus at my... Hey, uh, get back here! I was trying to chastise you! Huh? Whoa! Uh, hi, Sean. How long have you been there? I heard you fell out of the world or something. Uh, well, no, this is great. I could use your help. You see, people at my circus keep seeing this thing running around Route 3, and if it's not, oh no, what's that? Then it's, come on, let's go find it. It's just horrible for business. Mm. So I decided I'd put a stop to it myself. The least, as far as we're aware, the, the person at the circus who battles the least. Although I guess it is just Samson there now. So if Samson's on like PTO that day, it's basically just her. <laughs> but as you can see, it's just been giving me the runaround. Dad would be so disappointed if he saw me flailing around like this. So I used to have a theory that her real dad was Radimus, but I, I think that fell through once we found out that uh, Anna and Noel were his actual kids. But what if he had a, a bastard? That's so true. I think the maybe the origin for the theory was that they have the same hat, just recolored. And same hair color. Yeah. He always... Oh! There she is. Um... Did that Pokemon just poof into existence right in front of us? Uh, okay, change of plans. I'll keep chasing the first Pokemon. You deal with that one. I came here to have less problems, not more. Oh boy, okay. Verizion it is. See, this is why we brought Deedlewoo. <laughs> okay, Deedlewoo doesn't have a bug type move right now. We took it off. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> hey, whose fault is that? <laughs> Grab X scissor, go all the way to the bottom of my alphabetically sorted TMs. You know what? Maybe the alphabet is actually like a not, not a bad way to sort your TMs. I am with that actually. It's grown on me. The numbers were fine back when there were a reasonable amount of them, but honestly, yeah. Oh, <gasps> we're doing this again. Ow! Whoa. This Fern? is new. Wow. You're <laughs> really bad at this. I, it, it's it's so fast. This is crazy. I'm just trying to look around. Okay. Oh, gee. Wow. All, all you have to do is move two tiles. <laughs> okay, there's nothing else here. We can, uh... Yeah. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> we can just take two of their hits. We gotta heal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we do. <laughs> That's insane. So, okay, so here's here's my question. Last we you last we saw of Radimus, he was being swallowed by the vortex, right? That's correct. He is presumably no longer alive. Presumably. We've heard of Lin quite a bit in mm -hmm. the well, not quite a bit, but in the new world, right? We we just had our encounter with her last episode. Um presumably anyways. Do we think it's possible Radimus is also here? That seems likely to me, because uh, Luna got voided, and we ended up, like, she ended up being okay. So I, th yeah. I think it's pretty likely that the voided characters are, are going to be reappearing in the postgame. Right. I'm not sure. But that is to say, do we think that Radimus might be involved with these Swords of Justice? Specifically, I, w I wouldn't expect that. Well, since the ringmaster is here and she's talking about her father. Right. I'm sensing that, like, the more important, like, gym leaders, like, they're going to be coming in for, like, the big guys, like Darkrai or mm -hmm. Groudon and Kyogre. Well, you forget the, the Swords of Justice have a big guy attached to them. <laughs> I guess that's true. And no one wants to think of it as a big guy. But he is. <laughs> New strat it's crazy. Oh, come on. Dude. It didn't. Oh, I thought I was being Dude. smart. I thought I was being so smart. <laughs> That's so sad. We're fully healed and diabetic. Let's do it. Oh, I didn't save. It's, it's a good thing she didn't fight us. <laughs> good thing she ran away. Here, I'll save now. So I don't forget. I have a feeling we're going to be doing more of that, just for the record. Yeah, that seems likely. Oh, we're back in the blue zone. Oh. Oh, oh this is going to be like a double Ooh. battle? Wait, an actual double battle? Oh, that would be sick. Smeargle is not going to work for that. <laughs> <laughs> I like to, I, I, I like Trixie a lot for a potential uh, double, double battle. battle. Yeah. Intimidate and Heat Wave. I'm with that. Especially with these two Pokemon. Do I have any XP candies? Yeah, Trixie fell behind just a tiny bit, so I'm gonna get her caught up. It would be really funny if we uh, had to fight Terrakian and Keldeo together. We got them! Alright, now's our chance. Oh. Oh, triple battle. Wait, uh, another one? Oh no, they look ready to fight. Wait, 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 hold on. <laughs> Let's talk about this. <laughs> I would like a double battle with one of the NPCs. Nice. Oh shit. All for one for all. Oh, that's sick. Oh. I love that. They got all sorts of reindeer on the field. Savali also one of my favorite Pokemon. Savali technically classified as a legendary. Mm-hmm. Oh, we got double intimidate? Let's fucking go. Yeah, that's really sick. I'm gonna go straight for Heat Wave. Uh. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. What is. What is Snarl? Okay, so we're in oh, the. Oh, it's the field. It's the yeah. field effect. Sorry. So Dark gets boosted here. Yeah. I didn't think we'd be yeah, in the. I think Heat Wave is the best call. Again. I think this does hit Luxray, but it's whatever. Yeah. Ooh, Tailwind. I kind of expected these three reindeer to have a... Uh, oh, come on. 
uh, to oh, have two separate sucks. fights. I did too. I think it's strange that uh, the the legendary cats or dogs, like they had unique fights, but then like nobody else has. Mm -hmm. The Reggies were grouped together, now the reindeer are grouped together. Well, maybe it's because they didn't want it to be super annoying. Yeah, that's partly the reason. Also, another Sylv ally, interesting. Oh, he's got the magical seed, so he's gonna be recharging this next turn. Ooh. Uh, I think. What I mean, what's the okay? So Valley is a ghost type. What's the worst that Silvalli yeah. can even do? Oh, actually, we can just snarl on him. Yeah, that is true. I kind of like that because Cobalion's so weak right now with minus two attack. He's maybe not even that yeah. threatening. Oh, okay, well... Oh, that's less good. Rare justified moment. Oh, the Ringmaster has, like, circus Pokemon, maybe? So she's got, like, a lion. Oh! Oh, it, it just occurred to me. Okay. The... See, okay. Arceus's ability had, like, a special interaction with this field effect, and I guess so does Sylv Allies. Oh, okay. So, so Valet is no longer a ghost type. He's now poison. Right, it's poison. Yeah. I'm gonna go for heat wave. Interesting. At this point, Gobalion sticks out in my mind because of the one Pokemon spinoff game. I think Pokemon Scramble on 3DS, where Cobalion is like the main antagonist randomly. <laughs> I never got that far in in that game. I played a ton of it on the bus to the class, but... Halucha. Halucha. Halucha is a great one for Pokédoku, because they love asking fighting flying. Oh. <laughs> I think I've only ever done one Pokédoku, and it was, it was when we were in the call together. Fuck. A lot of fun. Oh, they had Tailwind up? I think it's okay we lost Trixie. We've already taken out two of their Pokemon. Yeah, it's not horrible. I think Verizian could be coming next. Yeah. We can't we we cannot spore Verizian. Uh so Birdos also has Heat Wave. I mean if you want to. Yeah. I because Birdos is not gonna be good against Terrakian. Yeah. I mean neither would Deedle but. Well, Brick Break, actually. Oh. Oh. Perhaps I misread the situation. Oh, he's also got a magical seed. Ooh. <laughs> Whirlwind looking kind of nice right about now. Or just can't do anything. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this is actually bad. Yeah. Uh, with all the stat buffs too. Yikers. Um, I think we have to sack Birdos. And just hope for the best. I can't use Discharge because it will hit Holucha. Right. Nice high jump kick, though. I like that. Yeah, that's good. I really don't think we're in a terrible position. Yeah. I'll be honest. We're still like... Oh, oh well, hold on. Here's the thought. Uh, they could have 12 Pokemon. Is that possible? It's very possible. Uh oh Just a whole line of Sylv allies, I guess. I don't know what kind of strategy would we even use to like counter all of them having magical seeds. This loot is popping off. Yeah, uh, Ringmaster, for all the talk you said about not being a great battler, is really doing putting in work here. Yeah, more than us right now. Yeah, far more than us. Uh alright, well I'm gonna go for a Thunder on Teraki, and I think I think Rainmaster's got him though. Oh sketch. 
multi attack's gonna be electric, which is bad for us. Yeah. Grizzian's here. Hello, Grizzian. Speaking of side games. Love Grizzian. <laughs> In Gates to Infinity. Love Gates to Infinity. Okay. I think Heat Wave is, is fine here. We're the fastest, which is really unexpected. Heat Wave burned earlier, and I, and I didn't know it could do that. Yeah, I I didn't either. I kind of want to go for Fly, actually, because Heat Wave's not doing anything. Although, Fly's mm -hmm. also not going to do anything. I think this really just isn't Birdo's fight. Yeah, Birdo's is not doing great here. I mean, I'll go for Burns, I guess. Nice ice shard, love that. Yeah. I love this Verizian just missing all of its attacks. Okay, we're good. <laughs> that was the last of all. This might be it. Yeah. Although, yeah. Yeah. Wait, Thrakian's still alive? No, we we beat it. Well, uh, Ringmaster beat it. Yeah. Go. A rare first try. Yeah, that was easy as hell. <laughs> it kind of was. Oh no, it's rocky and stupid. Oh no. <laughs> Are you kidding me? All that and they still get away? And one's back in the outside world? What even was the point? You gotta look at the outside, Ringmaster. Unnamed Ringmaster. <laughs> Why is it always something? Ah, <sighs> maybe it's time to throw in the hat. You know, I try to make him proud, I I really do. I just... I didn't ask for this. I like performing! I like putting on a show! I was practically raised in center stage. So when dad died, I thought, sure, I can take over. And I can handle this. Okay, so her dad is not a... Not Radimus, yeah. unless he faked his death. <laughs> Turns out, being a performer is the easy part. But trying to manage employees and customers and the business... Ugh. I could use a break. Like, don't get me wrong, I would love to have a word with whoever's behind all these Pokemon popping up. And that word is stop. Tell them. But... I don't think I'm cut out for the actual act of wrangling them. That's champion stuff, right? Oh, that's us. We're the champion. Gym leader stuff, at the least. I should have had Samson do it. No, Samson will help us with a much stronger legendary later, probably. Oh, maybe I could have had Cal do it, if only. If only. Hey, listen, I really don't like to quit halfway through a show, but can I leave this to you? Oh. Those two should be here somewhere, and the third probably hasn't even made it out of Route 3. But I think I need a moment. Come find me after you deal with them, okay? I'd appreciate it. Alright, remind me to go talk to her. Oh, I, I, okay, you're, you're, you're staying here. <laughs> you're not going back to the circus, you're hanging out in the <laughs> Void Dimension. Okay. She's starting a circus here. Hey, can we go? Is she, like, literally here? really funny if she is <laughs> well, I said I needed a moment hey what a disaster I mean truthfully I was hoping to catch one of these things myself and add it to the show but after all this I'm feeling pretty over it feeling pretty over a lot of things right now <laughs> you <laughs> you okay ringmaster <laughs> Sometimes it'd be like that. Oh, we got healed after that fight. She healed us. Oh, that's sick. Ringmaster might be the best NPC. Gonna say it. She comes in, she helps, and then she's over it. It's like the most streamlined character work in this whole game. <laughs> but she healed us before she was over it. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, we should be able to catch these guys pretty quickly. I didn't think anything could fill the void in my heart after Cal, but... You're ready to start loving again. I think I'm ready to start loving again. 
<laughs> uh, I will be interested because we did get like we are getting more of a character for her right now. Yeah. Uh, so I'm curious what the the like resolution here is gonna be. Do you, do you think she's gonna get Keldeo? <laughs> Keldeo's gonna come back with her to the circus? That would be pretty sick, actually. <laughs> uh, where is Verizon? <laughs> we should be looking for T-Mobile instead. Or perhaps even Mint Mobile. Oh, can't go that way. Okay. Jokes that won't make sense in 10 years. Maybe 20. What, because they're all condensing into one company? Uh, that, but also, like, who knows which ones will be in business at that point. Because it used to be, like, Verizon versus AT&T, right? But now Verizon's scared of T-Mobile. Which is crazy to me, because ten years ago, I would have laughed if you told me you had T-Mobile. Because they had no service here. Do you think Kobe Lion's gonna have a whole party? No, he doesn't have the aura anymore. Oh, bah! Okay, cool. It's just him. Yep. I'll take it. Hit him with. Oh, I forgot to use a quick ball again, but. The quick balls, like, never work. So I'm not feeling that. Uh, they've worked once or twice. I'm upset about it. See, personally, I'm a psychopath and I only catch Pokemon in regular Pokeballs. Not this time. <laughs> that was close, though. I will say it did take forever to catch Cresselia in, in Platinum with a Pokeball. Yeah, so like catching the Pokemon at all is already a pain in the ass, especially in those old games. And you were doing it with a Pokeball. Yeah. What do we call Colbalion? Do we want to give him a French name? What's 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 a good French name? Oh, we could we could name them after the actual Musketeers. That's not a bad idea. I don't know their names <laughs> for, for the record. <laughs> I, I don't know the three Musketeers. I know them by their moniker, but not the actual names. <laughs> uh, see, the the thing is though, the one I know the best is uh, the one that Keldeo is based off of. That implies uh, there's four Musketeers. Oh wait, there actually are four Musketeers. Yeah. Um. I think Kobolion would probably be Athos. Like that? Yeah, like that. Uh, but Keldeo's based off of, if I remember correctly, D'Artagnan. Uh, who is the fourth musketeer. I remember watching the Keldeo and Kieran movie and thinking, this sure is kind of weird. I've never seen that one. Well, no, I did. I've seen like I saw clips of it when it was airing on Cartoon Network, mm -hmm. um, because I remember Vic Mignogna voiced Keldeo. Oh, <laughs> which is crazy. So we can't spore Verizian, unfortunately. So this is going to be a kind of a crapshoot. Mm -hmm. But we'll see what we can do. It's a weird movie because, like, the reindeer, they all talk. And then Keldeo also talks, and Keldeo's voice in English was kind of weird. I once again forgot to use Quick Ball. <laughs> I mean, the reindeer, their catch rates aren't that low, so I mean, we're probably fine just to do it like this. Okay. There we go. Alright, which musketeer is this? Um... Verizon would... Ooh. I don't know. Probably not Porthos. Um... So probably Aramis. A-R-A. A-R-A. M-I-S. Yeah, Tarakian would have to be Porthos, because Porthos is like the the buff one. 
Okay. What a disaster. Plan. Okay. Terrakian, get back here. Yeah, right. <laughs> Maybe we should have gone off the Terrakian first. He's, he's dangerous to the public. <laughs> well, it's only in here. Let's see. Wait, is this fucking... Is this Victory Road? No. Unless you mean the music. No, the air... I... I... <laughs> Where is this? This is Route 3. Mm. So this is like on the way to... Like when you, when you first get here, uh, really the way to get to Kalsanon City is like right up here, but it's blocked when you first get here. So you have to go mm. all the way around by going through Route 3. Um, let's go heal real quick, just so Smeargle is, is up. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I need rock climb too. I'm gonna slap it on Wackford real quick. Sure. I've actually uh, I've been reading a book about uh, uh, France recently. Um, I mean, not just France in general. It's specifically about this one prisoner. Um, but uh, the the fourth musketeer, D'Artagnan, is like tangentially tied to the story. Hmm. Uh, at least so far, he might be he might be more important later on. Isn't this new right here? But he's aided in a number of arrests so far. Oh, this is the same one. Yeah, we gotta go. We gotta find Terrakian. Wait, that's. He's on Route 3 somewhere. But this is a different portal that leads to the same place. No, that's the one we came here from. Well, I know that's what it looks like, but. Oh, you're right. Okay. <laughs> what? Wait, what? No, because we went down this rock climb thing. And then I went in here. Oh, it's the same area. Okay. Uh huh. <laughs> My bad, everyone. No, you're good. You're good. These places can be topsy turvy sometimes. Let me use a max repel. Easy to get turned around. What's the book called? Uh, the Man in the Iron Mask. Uh, it is about a prisoner who is arrested and sent to one of France's highest security prisons. Ooh, there he is. Uh, during the reign of Louis the Fourteenth. But I am a third... No, actually, I'm halfway through the book now. And I still don't know why he was arrested. I actually know almost nothing about this guy. Mm. Because the book focuses on the prisoners that he shared prison with. Uh, which doesn't seem important at all until you realize that like just being anywhere near this guy like completely ruins their lives like they lose all chance of ever hoping to be released from prison just uh -oh. because they meet him like whatever this guy saw or did is so important that louis the 14th thinks it can fucking destroy france <laughs> if it got out yeah i see Louis the Fourteenth seemingly considers this man the greatest danger to like life, <laughs> which is crazy. There we go. Terrakian is going to be Orthos, like that. Yes, yep. All right. Well, I mean, I, I guess that's it for... Uh, yeah, that was that was quick and easy. We got to go talk to Ringmaster, we though. We do. I was just thinking that. We got to go see if she's over it still. <laughs> Is she getting over it with Bennett body? Let's go cheer up the Ringmaster. So, we've got them all, huh? Thanks for bailing me out. I guess that's the show, then. Let's head on back. Oh? I'm gonna turn around and there's gonna be more nonsense behind me. Huh. Great galloping Galvantula, what do you know?
Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's see what's behind door number three. These quests are getting a little more involved each time. I bet this is just going to be Keldeo. I, yeah, I think it has to be. But do we think there'll be a character attached to Keldeo here? It's got to be or the like ringmaster. the Lin moment, you know? <laughs> the ringmaster's going to capture Keldeo instead of us, and that's just going to be it. <laughs> uh, all right, well, so next time in Pokemon are born, we will check out this next door. Yeah, we'll, we'll bring D'Artagnan home. See you then.